Hi everybody, today we'll be looking at three low-cost microphone options for capturing interior dialogue scenes and comparing them against the industry standard Sennheiser MKH-416. Now, what I mean by industry standard is that if you've seen a TV show or a movie in the last 40 years, you've probably heard the kind of sound that it will capture. Um, and if a cheap mic can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with something that makes $100 million movies, uh, then it's probably not complete crap. Unfortunately, the 416 is a thousand bucks, so barring a Black Friday sale or great eBay offer, uh, it's probably outside of the budget of the average independent filmmaker or people who are new to the craft. Now, I'm a visual guy, but I'm a visual guy who knows that audio is more important. So no matter your budget, you should never subject your audience to your camera's internal microphone. It's crap and any effort that you've put into the visuals will be wasted because no one will want to listen to your movie. That said, we have three very inexpensive microphones here, and we'll start with the Samson CO2, uh, which is sold in a pack of two for $100. It's a small diaphragm condenser, and according to the manual, has a cardioid pickup pattern. Uh, there's an icon printed on the mic that looks more like a super cardioid pattern, and from use, my hunch is that it's somewhere in between. The kit comes with a couple of foam windscreens and two surprisingly good rubber shock mounts. Most mics come with nasty plastic ones that you throw in a box and forget about. The advertised frequency response is from 40 to 20,000 hertz, just like the Sennheiser 416. Next up is the Lix Pro SDPC2, also sold in pairs for $100. The frequency response is a little different from the Samson at 30 to 18 kilohertz. The Lix Pro also ships with three microphone capsules, an Omni, Cardioid, and Super Cardioid. I'll do a separate video with the differences between the three, but for now we're using the Super Cardioid capsule. Finally, the 14.37 inch shotgun microphone, and that really is the name. It's one of those generic Chinese products that's sold by a dozen vendors like Newer and Photosee. But interestingly enough, it's not a shotgun microphone. It just looks like one. The condenser is actually up at the front of the microphone and operates very much like a normal cardioid mic. That doesn't make it a terrible thing, it just is what it is, and it is $20. And compared to your camera's microphone, it may be worth that $20. It is powered by a AA battery, which means it can run directly into your camera, whereas the other three mics require phantom power. I have all four mics plugged into a Zoom F4 multi-track recorder and I have gained them all so that the peaks are around minus 12 dB. In post I've normalized everything to minus 24 LUFS which is the US broadcast standard for loudness. I've done no other processing. Speaking of gain, the 416 required the least. The Lix Pro is next with the Samson and the generic shotgun uh, close third and fourth. Just looking at the meters on the F4, the noise floor appears to follow the same trend, with the 416 very silent and the generic shotgun producing a fair amount of noise. I should also mention that this is a completely untreated room. Uh, it does have carpet, but there's nothing on the walls. It's about 10 by 12. There's also a very large and poorly sealed window off to my left that allows me to hear every car in the neighborhood with striking clarity. I've positioned all the mics so that their condensers are about the same distance away from me. The Sennheiser will appear a little closer because its condenser module is at the back of the interference tube. Alright, that's three very inexpensive microphones for capturing interior dialogue. For capturing exterior dialogue, I would definitely look into a proper shotgun microphone with the necessary wind protection. For interiors, however, these small cardioid pattern mics actually can do a pretty good job. Um, even for $20, the generic mic is certainly better than the mic on your camera. Um, so regardless what your budget is, you definitely have no excuse for using audio that comes from your camera. Always invest in something. Um, if it has to be the lowest end possible, that's better than nothing. I hope this has been a useful comparison. Um, please subscribe to the channel because we've got an awful lot more coming, and I'll see you next time.